Hello YouTube. Um, unfortunately, with my monthly lineup progress, I managed to delete <laughs> the five attempts, so I haven't got them for you to see. Um, but I will talk through this next video about the scores that I got because I did write them down. So at least we can have the proper scores, and I will then go through how I've been getting on over the last nine months with it. Uh, excuse my dog washing herself in the background. That is Tilly, who you hear barking occasionally in the woods. I um, hope you enjoy this one, because I just popped in the club. I was going to redo some uh, some more lineup videos for you, but I thought after doing this one, nah, I'll leave it, and I'll just put this one video on with a talk over of what I have done when I was there before, if that all makes sense. Hope you enjoy this. I'll see you at the other end. Yes, yeah, so let's get into this one then. So the video in the background is just me doing one, uh, one lineup. And as you can see there on the left hand side, there are five breaks in numerical order, 31, 33, 37, 48, and a very decent 81, which I missed a virtually straight grid into the middle pocket. And that was pathetic, really. But it was a good 81, uh, which then brought the average up to 45. A relatively good session, you know, fairly consistent. So let's get straight into what I was going to talk about, which is the nine month progress so i've just put it on a little chart here so we can see so i started off okay uh, you know the first lot of filming <coughs> so I'm a little bit nervous on that one went up quite quickly to begin with on the high break um but the monthly average has actually stayed relatively stable it did creep up to 70 odd there which was a little bit bewildering for me and since then it's come down to a little under 50 but the breaks themselves are actually being more consistent rather than having a 20 and then a 70 they're all sort of 30s 40s you know 50s there or thereabouts so that means that in at least this scenario my consistency is improving. I now just need to focus on consistency in break building in my matches. Right, that's enough of looking at this. Let's get back on with this particular lineup. That minus score will come back on the screen. There we go. So that black was for 16. Now I will say that this one was the last attempt of the day and because it was quite good I thought that was a good point to end. But I really really did focus on hitting the ball mm, positively, smoothly but also not playing difficult shots you know like deep screws and trying to bounce the cue ball off a cushion and blah 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 just trying to roll it through uh, leave myself angles where I can play the shots at a gentler pace um, and it seems this time to be working so up into the 30s just having a quick look at the reds and the one that's the middle one between the pink and the black would have taken me up towards a high pink or or maybe up towards the blue so I rejected that one the one above the black I would have had to have played a bit firmer than what I wanted to so I rejected that one and uh, yeah just rolled the red in above the pink for the pink in the corner where I was standing by just trying to keep things as simple as and can't reach that one normally so just a quick swap over rather than using the rest. 
Now, is pink or black going to be the better ball here? Again, for the sake of trying to keep that cue ball under complete control, just gently rolling it. Now, this one I will be playing for the black. Just run it on and off the cushion. Leave myself on a high black. And play basically the same shot to leave the cue ball hopefully similarly where it was there. You know, it's a little bit further away from the red. But this gives me an opportunity to manipulate the cue ball a little bit. So it wasn't straight enough for me to dolly it in and leave the cue ball, you know, a couple of inches away from the black. I did have to play that one on and off the cushion. And this one is on and off the side cushion. Sort of an upper stun, upper stun run through shot, and it's got very, very close to the line of reds. But thankfully, it's far enough away where I'm not going to play a push shot. Now, low on the pink, so that's not a bad place to be because it means that I can play the cue ball on and off the side cushion. Tracer left, helping side, not much. And just watch it there. It's kicked off up towards the line of the blue. Just giving myself a few more options of reds to play for, really, there. Not, not wanting to play specifically on one ball. And that one I did actually try and hold for the pink into the left corner, but I don't think that shot was on, unfortunately. So I've hit that one <coughs> a little bit hard. So this is the only shot, or the first shot, that I'm having to play with any sort of pace. And I have to say I quite enjoyed that one, watching and listening to that one go in. Sending it round off for three cushions, it's left me a chance of third red up from the pink oh what's going on yeah when I struck that I really really thought I'd missed it completely now give this blue a lot of care and attention because it's relatively thin <coughs> excuse me and I still want to drop it in like that so the keyboard's not going to run away from the red so happy where it's held there. And again, just a fraction low on this red, so it was always going to take me up onto the blue. Just wanted to make sure that I'm high on the blue this time. So that I can avoid playing the red nearest bulk, but I'd gone <coughs> excuse me, about a quarter of a ball low on the blue so I'm having to take this red now wanted to leave that one until last uh, only for the simple reason that if I got on that one then I'd have had a choice of <coughs> excuse me four colours to play for after it and on that one I've left myself in no man's land I mean I've potted the blue I'm up into the 90s, which I haven't been there for a very, very long time. And I'm not counting the break as I'm playing, so I don't actually know at this point that I'm in the 90s. Just wanted to make sure of that red going in. Now, now I'm starting to get a little bit jittery, because I know that I've potted 14 reds. This was a choice of do I go for the black or the pink. I thought the pink was a better option. To so leave me on this red. Now, that is absolutely amazing. That's only my second ever century. So I'm down on this red. Having a look at it. It's just off straight. And I'm looking at it thinking, do I just stun for the pink? No, because I'm going to hit the ball too hard. So I just roll it in for the black. Oh, no. 
Oh. <clears throat> but as I was lying there, I thought to myself, no. I know it's not going to matter. But I'm going to put that red in as if it has been potted. And I'm going to see if I can continue potting balls from where the cue ball is. So the score on the top right is what I finished on. The score top left is what it could have been. So again, swapping over. Didn't really want to use the rest. So it shouldn't be too difficult to knock that yellow in and screw back for the green. So yep, yeah, manage that one. Now screw back across the face of the brown and pop that in the same pocket as the green. And come back down for the blue. Hopefully leave the cue ball high so it's a nice gentle shot onto the pink. But it's come it's come low, <coughs> which where it's come so low, not hand solo, uh, it was in her. It was a good place because I could have I played that one with running side. So right hand side as I was looking at the cue ball uh, to send it down towards the pink. I've hit that one a bit hard. Wanted the pink in the left corner, but can I stick the pink in the middle? Come round the back of the black and have that in the bottom left hand corner. I can pop the pink, but I didn't manage to get on the black. I can, however, <laughs> pop the black in the middle. Oh, that one red. Oh, absolutely gutting. Yes, how unbelievably gutting was that? I can't take it. I did miss the last red, so... 101? That's the second ever uh, century, but I can't count it as a 136, unfortunately. I will get there eventually, but not just yet um thanks for watching hope you enjoyed that and i will see you very soon with the next one take care